Hey guys, coming back with a new video. This is a quick how-to video on how I make my thumbnails. I've been asked in the comments a few times in the last couple of weeks how I make my thumbnails and what do I use. So these guys don't pay me. This is not a, a paid video. I just like this website in particular and I know there's other ones out there but uh, feel free to use this one because it's free and it's easy. Now of course you can make your thumbnails as detailed as you want but I'm going to show you quickly how I do it. So when you get to pick Pixlr.com you're gonna pick a new file to work on and for me to have a good thumbnail size I'll use 1280 by 720 now when we have our clean sheet I'm just gonna take a regular snapshot from the video I've been working on once I paste it into the program I'll copy it I'll cut it and then I'll paste it and if you want to use your quick function keys it's just control a control C and then control V once it's on the field that you're working on you can manipulate the size so I'm stretching it out so that it takes over the whole size so that we have a full thumbnail make sure that you're always clicking yes so that you can change and you have your toolbar on the side again if you want to use your lasso if you want to use your magic wand you can use the uh, ink dot to fix your background you can do stuff with green screens lots of stuff but this isn't a tutorial on pixlr this is just quickly how again i make my thumbnails so i also like to use a website called cooltext.com and again there's other different free websites where you can manipulate the font that you want i just like using cool text because it's very fast they give you a lot of options you type in what you want to write it will uh, render it for you you copy paste and you put it back in so as I'm doing this I'm saving everything back onto my computer and it opens up every time that I want to open up a new piece of uh, a new image that I want to use so this one we have our 2020 game room tour and now I'm looking for a bottom I always like to use contrasting colors just so that my thumbnails kind of look similar so you know who's making it you'll see you're like oh that's a locksmith monster video right away now I'm just thinking of what I want to write. Let me type into the logo field. So I have how many consoles and I'm like, nah, I don't really want that. Let's see what else I can put. So I decide to go with into the basement. This is what I'm gonna use and I like these fonts. Again, create logo. Once it's rendered, you just right click, copy it and you save it into your desired part of the computer that you wanna save to. Now we come back to Pixlr. Let me move myself over here a little bit. So again, I'm gonna go into File. I'm gonna go back into what I just recently saved and I'll look at my two cool text fonts. So again, I'm going to cut, copy, and paste onto the field. Now what's good is when you go into Edit, you can manipulate, you can manipulate all of your pictures, but I'm using this for the font. So once you click on it, you can enlarge it, you can shrink it, you can rotate it, put it wherever you want, you know, have it at different angles. I always click yes so that it stays in there. Now I'm just gonna slightly turn the left and right corners in a little bit just to give it that kind of Star Wars falling towards you feel. And again, you can change it any way you want. This isn't a tutorial on how to do it. If you're interested in something like that, I may do a video uh, more in depth of all the tools. You just have to let me know down in the comments. I actually really enjoy making my own thumbnails. I find it very fun, enjoyable, it's uh, therapeutic. Once the video is over, this is like the last hurrah. And you can add as many things as you need in here. Um, if you were going to add pictures of yourself, I'd suggest you use a green screen. It's just a lot cleaner. Or if you're going to take images right off the internet, make sure that you're typing in PNG afterwards so that you get a nice white background and it's a lot easier to cut. So I'm happy with my background. This is the way it is. Super fast, super simple. This is how I make my thumbnails. You save it, file save, bam, and it's yours. Then coming over, when you're uploading your video, I just scroll right down to my thumbnail. Come back, 
double click it, put it in, I have my own design thumbnail in and it's ready to go. And you know, if you've been doing YouTube any time at all, if you're not happy with the way it looks afterward, you can always tweak it, you can start over from scratch, you can change your thumbnails. It's entirely up to you. And again, this is very quick, guys. This is just like a one, two, three, how to make a fast, easy thumbnail, nice and clean. I also like to use, uh, like I mentioned, cool text to put in my, uh, my text of my different font. And these are just some examples. Again, it's just a screenshot, and then I will put my text overlay. This is a yard sale score. This is the Loxness Monster one. A little more, I stole the Gyarados, a Super Nintendo controller, and I put my moniker at top. Also, you can do different things. They give you different templates if you want to go into the paid one. This one looks like Breaking Bad, but it's the Loxness Monster still. Again, you can copy different images, paste them, uh, manipulate the one the way you want. This was for the Super Starcade opening credit. I had to change a few things. And again, you can put as much or as little detail into it as you want. This is uh, a picture of myself, another screenshot with a green screen. And then I just put the background and again, I put the text for the repro cart review for Clock Tower. So I hope this helped guys. Again, pixlr.com and cooltext.com. Very easy to use, free. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, you know, drop it down in the comments. And thanks for watching guys.